Hey guys, Tech Commentary with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone if mobile or cellular data is not working for you. Basically, if you have cellular data and or mobile data and you're going outside and you don't get any internet, nothing is going to work. So how can you fix that? We're going to walk you guys through the steps to hopefully resolve that issue. So let's dive right into it. The first thing you want to do before even proceeding with the troubleshooting steps that we're going to show you is verify with your carrier that you have cellular data or mobile data available on your plan, which you can check through your account online or call them up because sometimes you might find out that you don't have cellular data set up on your account or simply your cellular data might be, even if you have limits, for example, if you use a, a cellular plan that has certain limits like 1 gig, 2 gig, 5 gig, 10 gig, you might hit the limit for the month and no longer will get cellular data. So those are a couple things you want to check. Make sure you have cellular data available on your plan and then it doesn't go over the limit because it might not work. Your carrier might cut it off. So once you know for sure you have cellular or mobile data on your iPhone, now it's time to troubleshoot why it's not working. So first thing you want to do is slide up from the top here. We're going to go ahead and turn on airplane mode just like that this will allow the phone to have the network reset and then we're gonna after a few seconds we're gonna turn it back on and you should notice here it's such a searching and your carrier should come up and then this icon right here should go green which indicates your cellular service is active for you you can also do this by going into settings and then you'll be able to see here airplane mode you can turn it on Give it a few moment, turn it back on. It should do the searching here and then it should allow you to do that. And then while you're at it to check cellular services, you want to go ahead and turn off your Wi-Fi here so you can see that that you have cellular data here. As you can see, we have 5G here. If you don't see any 5G, 4G, or anything indicated here, that means your cellular isn't working. Now let's move on to the next thing you want to do. The next thing you want to do on your phone is do a force a restart. So to do a force restart on iPhone 8 and above, you're going to press and release the volume up and then quickly press and release the volume down and then hold this side button on the right hand side until the phone goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears and then we'll let go. Now this has to be done really fast when you're clicking these buttons or Siri will activate. So we're going to press and release the volume up volume down and then hold the side button just like that we're not going to slide to power off we're just going to hold that side button just like that we're going to keep on holding till the phone goes completely black and then we'll see the apple logo reappear and once the apple logo reappear it will let go of it this method will not delete any data like that like photos videos apps or anything like this simply reloading the phone's code to give it a fresh start again so we're going to wait till it gets back to the home screen and once it gets back to the home screen, we'll enter our pass code to get back in. So you can see here, and then I'm going to have to enter my pass code. I'm going to move it out of the screen here, basically just putting my pass code in. And while I'm back in the phone, now you're going to check to see if you have cellular data here should indicate based on your carrier. So that's a forced restart, which fixes a lot of software issues. Now, let's say you're still having the issue. What can you do next? The next thing you can do is go into oh, settings here. So we'll go into settings really quick. And once you go into settings here, just taking it out of the screen here, some personal information up here about Apple account. But basically, you're going to go into settings here. And this time, you're going to go down to where it says general and then go all the way down here where it says transfer or reset iPhone you're gonna click on that and this time we're gonna click on the first option to reset and the reset that we want to do is reset network settings so before you do that just a couple couple, couple things about doing a network reset network resets basically resets things like your Wi-Fi your network connectivity all of that it will put it back to factory default so you'll have to if you connect it to different Wi-Fi you have to reconnect to this Wi-Fi even BPN setting if you set up BPN setting you have to reset up BPN setting so before doing that make sure that you know what the impact is this will not delete things like your photos videos apps any of media any any books or anything anything you have that's your personal data it won't delete that just the network related settings which again if you're having issues with the mobile data it's important to do this step here you'll click on that 
and then it will ask you to put your password and then do it for you. But do keep in mind if you do that, it will erase Wi-Fi connections, any network settings that you had set up before, VPN settings, but not any of your personal data. So now if you have to do, done that and it's still not working, the final thing you can do to hopefully fix your issue is again by going into settings here. Once you're in settings here, we're going to go to general. We're going to just quickly go back to general here. And then this time you're going to look for software update. So you're going to click on software update and wait to see if there's a software update available. As you can see here, there's 16.2 available, which is the latest software version. Sometimes Apple will update the software if the phones are experiencing certain issues. We want to go ahead and click on download and install. But before you download and install, make sure your phone is plugged into charge. It has more than 50% charge and connected to Wi-Fi because as you can see here, we turned on five we well, turned on our mobile data, but if mobile data isn't working, we need to turn it back on. Now, if you have done all of that, the next thing you want to do after you have done everything is verify that the phone cellular data is actually on as well, which you can go by into settings here, this time cellular. You see this option right here where it says cellular data, right? You want to make sure that cellular data option is on. So you can see if I turn that off, as you can see here, there's no cellular signal or anything. You want to make sure that is turned on. Now, if that is turned off for some reason, things will not work. Other things to check for certain apps, right? So there's an option or ability to turn off basically cellular data for certain apps. So if app doesn't work when you're off the Wi-Fi, you want to make sure you check that that app has this thing turned on. So let's say if I turned off for Facebook, it didn't have cellular data on. If I went outside the Wi-Fi range, Facebook isn't going to work. So you want to make sure you have that turned on. So those are going to be things you want to do. Hopefully, after doing all the troubleshooting steps, your phone is fixed. And if for some reason, if it's still not fixed, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you found a better way to fix it, let us know in the comment section as well. Thanks for watching, guys. And if this video was helpful in any way, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.